boys and girls. I don't know how to start a video. Got right. wheels for the Civic. Yeah, I've been talking shit about my fucking rare ass fucking JDM ass fucking sick. Wheel. And here they are. These are Weds, uh, like Wed Sport. Uh, there's some 80s shit, uh, six or 14 by six plus 40 offset, so that young front wheel drive swagger status. No idea what they are. I know that it says limited, Wed's limited, and it's also like embossed on the wheel right here. It says limited. That doesn't really do you much good when you Google it. They're just some old Weds, and I can't find anything about them online except some Japanese shit that isn't helpful at all. You might notice that they're pretty gross. Very chunky and crusty. You can just like. Come on, give me that, give me that sweet, sweet crunch. Oh yeah. So uh, we're gonna be taking care of that today. I got some paint for these and down that away we got some sandblast for these. The agenda for today is sandblast the fuck out of these motherfuckers and then paint them. I got a bunch of like super bright white primer and then I got some slightly off white uh, spray paint that looks pretty close to this color on the center cap we also got new sandblasting gloves oh yeah yeah put on these bad boys they're textured for her pleasure god that's actually a horrible fucking image <laughs> <laughs> uh, just fucking <laughs> yeah this was my like what's it called like yeah my ass kicking dick sucking i meant ass kissing oh ass kissing <laughs> uh like my measure of good faith you know like here i bought you some sandblasting gloves can i please use your sandblaster please uh but i also bought for the purpose of the curb rash you may have noticed on that wheel <laughs> if you've been watching for a while you know i'm addicted to the cheapest shit on amazon uh so i bought some bullshit like rotary tool like dremel but dremel's a name brand so it's not that using one of these little boy boy boys to just go <laughs> some real fucking genius at work here. Problem with this little sanding wheel is it would just slide off the plastic mount. So I took two little sanding wheels, fucking sandwiched around there. It's bad that it was nice and warm. Uh, fucking, that worked out pretty well. Got it sanded fairly decent. Like, there's still very visible herb rash and stuff like where it's it used to be, it was, but yeah, like I'm honestly just afraid to like go too deep in this and make it all fucked up. It doesn't look like curb rash like it used to, it just looks like some weird shit. And once it's painted, it'll probably just be gone anyway. I don't know, now I'm just gonna smooth it out with a softer wheel, or softer this guy, which is, I'm pretty sure it's like for doing your nails or something, I don't know. Not as tough as the other guy. Won't cut as deep. We'll make everything nice and smooth. Not perfect, but it is so much better. It's looking, here, try to get some close up to that shit. It's not great, but I've never done anything like this before. And also, the whole point of this is to, like, when it's on my car, you won't look at it and immediately go, oh, that's curb rash. Yeah. And you're, not, you're never going to. All right, we've made it down to the garage. Here's my uncle's new addition to the garage. This is 1956 Chevy Bel Air. He's actually had it for longer than the Buick, but it's been in the shop for a long time. <sighs> look at these Holios. That's really safe. It's good for blasting. Uh, Wowee. Ready to get this bitch ripping and shredding and tearing wheels apart. Real easy to see through that. <laughs> Gorgeous. Okay, we back and we got new glass. Well, we didn't talk about this, but we decided that we were gonna, along with the new uh, gloves, we we're gonna get some new visible things here. <laughs> Not one, but two protective films. Bam. Oh yeah, we can see inside of there. Tape this bitch up. All right, so we gotta get the center caps off. That's how you do it. Last time we used the sandblaster, we were sandblasting DJ's, uh, what were we doing? It was a wheel hub that I have on the E36. Oh uh, yeah. And it was just like, it kind of sucked because the gloves have holes in them. Could not see through the glass. But with the new glass, the new gloves, turn this light on. Boom. Boom. Gorgeous. Incredible. <laughs> It's not working very well. Yeah, I knew we were gonna be here for a large minute. So since Blasty takes so many time, we're just gonna try to chip as much paint as we can off before it gets blasted. I'm clearly the queen of chipped paint. Oh shit. With these this nails. Is super zoomed in. It's a pretty slow process. So we got one spoke done. Let's pull it out. Yeah. That's 
one spoke spoken for. All right, so because that was taking way too long, we're gonna just try to use paint stripper on these. Take them back up to my place and wash them up a little bit and then do that. All right, a little bit of time has passed. Mm -hmm. We cake these bitches. <laughs> Been sitting here watching paint strip. Watching paint strip. <laughs> Look at that, dude. The paint is literally like just spraying off of the hose, which is pretty sick. I think we could have been done with this five hours ago. Yeah, that would have been dope. All right, so we're gonna get these sprayed off until they're safe to touch. And then I'll probably just go at it with a Brillo pad because there's like basically no paint left on these anymore. Load them up, take them home, and I'll probably film on my own camera tonight. Uh, and just like real little snippets of the painting process. And I'll just paint them tonight at home. I may or may not have forgotten to film this whole time. Or I also may have intentionally not filmed so we didn't have to see how good of a job I did so far. Tried to sand down a lot of the paint that was left and like chip off the paint and stuff like that. So it was just bare metal. Get it as smooth as possible. Um, did a layer of primer. Two or three coats of paint in so far. I've devised a genius little rig to paint the barrels. Um, doing is putting those wheels upside down on this. Slipping the, uh, the traffic cone through the holes in the center. And then I paint the inside barrel that way. It's pretty cool. Uh, you're only allowed to see one wheel because we don't have to talk about why. That's fine. These wheels are perfect, and I'm doing them all their rare JDM justice that they deserve. Uh, I'm doing a wonderful job. Shut up. So I just did a coat. They're still very wet. Like, I literally did a coat, ran inside, grabbed the camera. Uh, uh. Intentionally not really doing a good job on the center part because it's covered up by the center cap anyway. And these wheels may or may not get repainted sometime in the future. But we don't get to talk about that. That's fine. Don't even worry about it. I plan on finishing up this can and then um, clear coat. And then once it's nice and shiny and dry, I'm gonna go to sleep. It's like, what is it? It's like 11, it's almost 11. It's 10.43 right now. Whatever, Cat's really stoked about it. I'm so tired. All right, well, I'll update you when I feel like it. Okay, it is tomorrow now. I was up like all night painting them bitches. I did, what did I do? let's see count my cans over here uh, a can of primer and then two cans of paint and then two cans of clear that's I don't know if the camera's gonna be able to see that shit uh, it looks pretty good but like I said honestly I'm probably gonna get these professionally sandblasted and just redo these in a few months because it didn't turn out how I wanted it but we're gonna get them mounted so we just dropped off the wheels and tires at uh, Best Tire Covington. Um, then went with the Chick-fil-A, got some lunch. Then went to Walmart to get some shit for my brother. That's a thank you because over the last couple days, my Civic has been at his house and he replaced my wheel bearings for me and um, one of my axles, the other axle, the axle we didn't replace. Just cause fucking busy boy over here gotta be ruining wheels and shit. I got, I got shit to do. Uh, no, I, I was basically just talking about how bummed I was about my wheel and bearings, like wheel bearing and, and axle situation and how I didn't have any of the time to like actually fix that shit because I've just been so busy lately and my brother offered to do it for me. So I was like, fuck yeah, right on. So we're about to head over there. I bought him a Nerf gun that shoots tennis balls for his dog and uh, a, a, a six pack of uh, Rainier. So we're gonna go pick up my car. This man fixed car. Yeah. So you said it drives? All right. Yeah, it drives pretty great. Doesn't no more. Wah, 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 wah. No more. No more noises. Oh, wow -wee. A lot <laughs> stiffer now. It uh, yeah. about jerked the engine out of it. Oh, good. That's what yeah. I need. All right. So she's all back together, and uh, we're just taking it on a little test drive at my brother's house. Oh my god! It doesn't make noise. <laughs> this is amazing. Holy shit! It doesn't make noise. Dude. Yeah, that's awesome. This is crazy. Okay. <gasps> actually put this car around a corner fast enough to understeer. <laughs> it's doing front wheel drive things. I'm hyped. We're at 45 and there's no noise. That's never happened to me in this car before. I mean, we're at 25. That's what that sign says. All right, thanks for fixing my car. 
Now I'm another one of those YouTubers that makes other people fix their cars for them. Well, I kind of did offer. That's true. I was complaining <laughs> about it, and then Chris is like, I'll do it. Here, shout out your Instagram. Have people check out your S14. Oh, it's uh, Hellboy490. I'm sure that'll get put on the screen or in the description. <laughs> Dude, actually, let's check out the inside of this thing. Yeah. The outside's a little rough because it's like rattle can, but look at this shit. It's gorgeous. Beautiful inside. So he's got plans for this. Who knows what it'll end up being, but... He just bought this thing. That's why I'm talking about it. Turbo the stock KA. Are you uh, wild man. Yeah. Nothing wild. Just gonna leave it, you know, eight pounds or less. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it comes preset at eight pounds. Oh, or it comes with an eight pound killer. string. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and a little bit of uh, fiberglass work and should be looking pretty good. Get some wheels. Yeah. I'm looking at a set of RPF ones right now. Yeah, RPF ones are a good option. All right, well, thank you, man. I'm going to pick up my new wheels and tires and probably going to head over to Quentin's and throw this bitch together in the car. I'm going to deliver pizza in this car today. Hey, we loaded up and chowed it up. Time to get scrotted up because these like need like the oval kind that go into the wheel and the stock lug nuts on my car are not that. So I got new lug nuts uh, and we're about to jack her up, crack her up, smack her up and see how she look. Yeah. Sick. Oh, yeah. It's gonna be sick. Get right, those fucking. It's fucking raining ass. <laughs> uh, all right, so we got the wheels on. I lowered the fronts because the back's already pretty low. I lowered the fronts a bit. I lay like five threads on the coilovers. Don't know what it's gonna look like. About to drop it down. Tighten up the lug nuts. Put the center caps on. He's done. It looks fucking good. Yeah. Punch it down. Needs more. Needs more? Oh, that's a lot better. Hell yeah. Let's tighten her up, put on some senior caps. Battery's dying, wind it up. Well, but... It's fucking sick, dude. Hey, yeah. Uh, the car drives great now. We'll have to uh, film another video on this sometime. I mean, obviously, but great. I'm hyped on the wheels. I'm not hyped on my impatience with the prep work, but it's just paint from, yeah, it's just paint. You know, the wheels are still fine from here. They look fucking sick. Yeah, it looks great. I love it. So I'm hyped to drive it. I'm hyped that the cheap, easy, simple, daily, reliable car that I bought is finally working. <laughs> yeah, thanks a shitload to my brother for doing all the shitty work that I didn't really have time. Check to him out on Instagram. He has an S14 now. Yeah. Um, did you guys?